always, always on the road. All right, guys, welcome back to lesson four, and I'm just going to get started right away here. So we're going to talk about something called factors today. And when numbers are multiplied together, we call these numbers factors, and they form something called a product. And the product is the answer. Okay, so let's just break this down a little bit. Here I have uh, a bunch of rectangles. I can see that I have two on one side and 14 on the other side, and we could multiply these two numbers, two and 14 to get the answer 28. There's 28 squares there all together. And we call the two and the 14 factors and the answer is called a product. And I like to think of, you know, factor, I like to think of a factory and outside of a factory, you know, comes a product. That's the end result is a product. Um, so two and 14 are factors of 28. What are some other factors of 28? How do you know? Yeah, I'll let you think about that for a sec. So suppose you only had 23 color tiles. You could only make one rectangle with all those 23 tiles. And I'm, I'm serious, there's only one possible answer here. And that is we have one. And if I count one, two, three, four, all the way, trust me, there are 23 tiles there, okay? And so if I was to make a multiplication question of this, it would be 1 times 23 equals 23. That's kind of a basic fact. So the 1 here is a factor, and the 23 here is a factor, but this 23 is also a product. So the only two factors in this situation are 1 and 23. And when we have a situation here where a number with exactly two factors, one in itself, we call that a prime number. 23 in this case is now a prime number. There's only one and a 23. And so when we have two exactly two factors, we call that a prime number. But suppose you had 24 color tiles. Well, in this situation, you could make four different rectangles with 24. And there's one there. So I could count out, again, the one. And if you trust me, there's 24 tiles going this way. I could say one times 24 is 24. So one being a factor, 24 being a factor, the 24 here is being the product. Now you might say, Mr. Hardy, that sounds like a prime number. Well, I said there's four rectangles. So let's look at another one. Well, here I have two and I have 12 and I could have 2 times 12 equals 24. Okay, again this 2 is a factor, that 12 is a factor, this 24 is a product. There's two more and here I have 3 and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so I could have 3 times 8 equals 24. Again factor, factor, product. And here I have 4 and I have 6. So I can say 4 times 6 equals 24. Well, I said a prime number has exactly two factors, but I've underlined 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 different products. So let's look here. The products or sorry, the factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24, okay? So that is not a prime number because a prime number only has two factors. Here we have eight. Now of all these factors though, we do have a couple that are prime numbers, two and three, okay? Here's another strategy we can use to find factors. So what if I had Billy here use using multiplication facts to find all the factors of 40. Well, I could write 40 out. Now, I've done a pre, some pre-work here, but I can think, hmm, 1 times 40, I know that equals 40. Well, this is an even number, so maybe 2. Well, 2 times what equals 40? Well, 20 can work. Now, could I use 3? Well, 3 times, well, 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 7 is 21 going down three times nine is 27 well I'm getting really far how about three times hmm 
11, 12, 36, it's not going to work, okay? So I could do skip 3, go to 4. Well, 4 times 10 would work. And then lastly, well, maybe 5 will work. Well, it ends in a 0. Probably a good guess that 5 is going to work, and we have 8. In this situation, I am able to make all the factors. Now, if I was to draw, well, this, these two go together, and these two go together, and these two go together, and these two go together. So that could be a strategy I could use. I could just list them all out, start at the one, and do the one that I'm trying to figure out, in this case, 40, and then try and fill in the middle in order. So which one of these factors are prime numbers? Well, I know that this will be a prime number. Now this one has two times two. That's this guy here, so that's not a prime number. Five times one is only possible, and these other guys, we can get multiple factors out. So in this situation, which prime, which factors are prime numbers? Well, two and five are, okay? Now, if you have some objects around, or you're, you're a person that likes to the hands-on stuff, maybe this could be a strategy. You could make something called arrays. And if I wanted to find all the factors of 12, I could make arrays out of, out of uh, these rectangles here. So I could start with maybe putting these all in a line. Uh, and I hope I have enough room here. feeling I'm gonna run out of room. Okay, so you can imagine if we could put these all together, I could have one times 12. Okay, that is a possibility. What if I have two rows? Maybe I can go like this. This is gonna fit a lot better. So here I have two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So here's some more factors. Two times six equals 12. Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit of racing here. Okay, well there could be another one. What if I made three rows? Movies over. So just by playing around here, I'm able to make an array. Well, that all seems to work. I have a rectangle. So in the end, I have one, one, two, three. I have one, two, three, four. So three times four equals 12. And again, factor, 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 factor. Okay, and our product that we're trying to find is 12. Now, if I was to go and try and make a fourth row, maybe I'll move this up a bit. Make a fourth row. That does work. However, well, I have four here and three here. Well, I already have that here. It's basically the same. So I'm just going to start repeating myself. So in this case, the real answer here is the factors of 12 are one, two, three, four, six, and 12. Okay. Okay. How about you try it? So I want you to try and find all the factors of 18 using the strategy of your choice. I just showed you two. We can make arrays or rectangles. Actually, we are. We can write all of the multiplication facts we know. I'm going to let you pause here. Try and figure out all the factors of 18. Okay, I'm just going to show you kind of what I would do. And, I, and naturally, me personally, I like the multiplication facts. So I'm going to go immediately to this route, 1. And I know that 18 will be the end. I know there's going to be a 2. I know that, you know, two times nine. I know that there is three, and then that multiplied by six. Four, oh, looks like this is all of them. So I have one and 18, two and nine, three and six. So I could have the factors being one, two, three, six, nine, 18. Just write it out a little bit cleaner there, okay? Now, if you did the rectangle root, we could go, that's one times 18 there. And then we have down here, we have three times six and we have a two times nine. So that is a possibility as well. And again, that looks like an array. So if you use counters, um, it should look something similar. So in, in summary, as we come to the end here, every number has at least two factors, one and itself. If this is the case, we call these prime numbers. 
However, if we have more than two factors, we actually call this a composite number. And then lastly, as you all know, remember in life, math happens. All right, guys, take care. Oh,